I am going to show you how to use property burning in angular 2 so what I have done is I have created a very simple angular app where it has got a component app.component.ts it has got a very basic CLI angular CLI settings so let me uh, so here we are going to talk about property binding so for property binding I am going to make a directory in my app folder and inside that I am going to create property binding component so for that let's navigate to cmd copy this path paste it over here and what I am going to do is inside my app folder I am going to go inside my app folder over there I am going to make a directory Mm, property binding so after making the directory I am going to navigate inside that and I am going to use the ng command to generate a component in the same file folder with uh, I want to have inline templates and inline style sheets instead of having separate folders with files so it will take some time to create so you can see that it has created two files that is component.ts component.spec.ts and it has updated the module.ts file so component.spec.ts is related with testing purpose so we don't require it so let's delete it we also don't need any of these components so I am going to remove the unnecessary components so now after removing this what I am going to do is I am going to declare a variable result which is going to be a number which will be having a default value of 10 ok so for this what I can do is I can say print the result over here right I need to add this app property binding in my app.component.ts file so this is done so one more thing let me navigate back and start our server either I can use ng serve or I can use npm start so what it is going to do is it is going to host it on port localhost port number 4200 so you can see some processes are being going on
as soon as the building is complete you will be able to see the files over there So as you can see, it has got some errors. So it is saying that unterminated template literal. So if I see in my file, then you can find that I have not closed this because of this. The error was coming now since like I have fixed it so the error should be gone so it has successfully compiled so over here you can see the value 10 which is the value that I have provided over here so let's say I want to change this from my app component .ts file from the template itself so for doing that what I need to do is I need to use square brackets then result and then I need to pass on the desired value let's say I want to pass in 100 so after compiling some error has occurred so now let's just navigate to it if I see in console then it's saying okay so since like we have not provided the input over here so it's not going to binding is not going to work so I need to import this input pardon me my mistake so now it should be compiling and it should be giving me the value 100 thanks for watching the video